Hi everyone, this is Tanner. I just wanted to make a quick video to answer a couple of common questions that I get. Uh, the first one is uh, about how can you tell if it's time for you to update the player ID map, how you can tell if there's like, updates that are not in your file. And then the second one is uh, if you need to do such an update and you have a Mac, or if you're not able to use the easy refresh option, that's talked about in some of the instruction manuals, then how can you go about doing that? All right, so our first question is, how do we understand if I've been making updates to the player ID map, and if there's updates that you need to go get as a user into your file, what can you go do? So if you visit the website, smartfantasybaseball.com, and go to the downloadable tools section, I have all of the player ID map links that you would need up at the top. Uh, that will help you sort through this problem. So there's a couple of ways you could check this. Um, a simple way would be to click on this view change log on the web. So every time I go out and make edits, I try to put a decent description about what I did. So if I go and I click on this, you can see that on February 3rd, I went through and I updated trans transactions through that date. Uh, a few days ago, I updated some underdog IDs. Um, and did some more MLB transactions. Uh, late January, Fantasy Pro's names changed on some things. Uh, I also had an issue where Griffin Canning was just missing from things. So you could see when the last time you made changes are and what kind of updates have happened since then. One other thing that you could do, if you don't want to look at that, you could actually just look at the player ID map itself. because. The descriptions on there were a little bit vague. Transactions through this date. So let's say I want to go actually look up a certain player and see if, if his change has been made. For example, if I want to go see if Corbin Burns has been put on Baltimore yet. So I can come to this web version. It will take a little while to load. It's not exactly fast to render. But while it's loading, I can do uh, Control F in Chrome, search for Burns. find Corbin Burns and he's now on Baltimore. So then that tells me that there's an update that I need to make. So one of those two options will hopefully work for you. Okay, now you've determined you need to make an update, but in your Excel file, for whatever reason, if you go to the player ID map tab, you know, you're supposed to be able to right click anywhere on the data in here and click this refresh button and it will automatically go pull in the new data, new positions, new teams, new players, and get them onto this tab for you, right? Um, for whatever reason, on Macs, this option doesn't exist or it's grayed out. And then I've also heard stories of even normal users using Windows. They've got uh, Windows, Office, Excel, and that option will gray itself out once in a while. So what can you do in that situation? So it, if that does happen, you can still manually download the player ID map and paste it in. And it's not it's not that hard or time consuming. You just have to be a little bit careful with how you do the pasting. So again, go to the site, go to the downloadable tools, the same area, and you can download a CSV. This is what I would do. If you download this Excel file, that's um, a little confusing to people at times because I don't, I don't keep this updated. This has a link to the same data, but you'd have to right click on this and hit refresh on this. So if you're still not able to refresh, going to this CSV right here will get you the latest and the greatest, the live connected data um, that I have edited. So this CSV is the best thing to use. So I've downloaded that. Uh, I have set up on my computer for CSVs to launch in Excel. If you haven't, you might need to go into your downloads, find the CSV, and then open it in Excel. Uh, but the ID map is here. It's downloaded. I can even control F in here and look for Corbin Burns. Oh, we're going to get Sean. Here we go, Corbin Burns, he's on Baltimore. So this is my latest and greatest. Okay, okay, so I go in cell A2, 
and I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut to pick everything below this first row. I'm going to, to do that, I'm going to do the keyboard shortcut Shift Control End, and that will grab me all the data to the bottom right hand corner, essentially. Once I've done that, I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go to my SGP file, go to the same location, essentially. You'll see this is filtered down, so I might need to go to see how the rows are skipping there. I just want to make sure I'm going to paste over the top of everything. So I'm going to clear whatever filters in here. And now I am going to oh, lost my clipboard, come back, copy this again, go back to cell A2. And then what you're going to want to do here, I, anytime you're copying and pasting a big set of data, it's from another kind of Excel file. You may just want to do paste special values. It's a little safer. I'm going to do that. Paste special values. Go to the bottom. Looks good. I can search for Corbin Burns. Okay. And I've got them on Baltimore now. So again, maybe I'll just revisit that. Go to the website, downloadable tools, download the CSV. Make sure you pick everything but the top row, copy it, go over to your ID map, make sure nothing's filtered, nothing's missing because you're going to paste right over the top of everything. Go to cell A2 and paste special values. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that clarified exactly how you can see if the player ID map has been updated. And then if you're a Mac user or if you're having trouble refreshing data, how you can go ahead and do that manually.